Good morning stampers, it's Fiona Whitehead here from craftystamping.blogspot.com and I'm here today on this very wet and miserable January day in the UK to bring you a beautiful U tutorial. Now I know we're going to see this stamp set everywhere around the internet um, but I've paired mine up with Painter's Palette from the main catalogue. I love this uh, set anyway, this Painter's Palette. Um, when I first saw the beautiful U I just thought she had to be on that easel. Um, I've done two styles here. Uh, this one is with the lady with her dress and this is the one where she's dancing slightly bigger. Um, so I've done two different colourways and today we're going to use a Pacific Point. And I'm going to show you just how to um, do the sort of easily part of this. And also I'm going to do some of the paper piercing, piecing, piecing, piecing on the dress. Um, which is also all, all around uh, the internet at the moment. So I'm using Whisper White cardstock, um, cut in half and folded in half, and I'm using some of our designer series paper stacks papers. Um, it, they come in all the all the colours, the brights, the regals, all of them, and I just love them. Uh, and they're double sided. They've got lots of pretty patterns on them, and they come in all our colours. So what's not to like? And I'm using the polka dots because she can have a polka dot dress. Uh, so this piece of designer series paper is approximately five and a half inches by four inches. It all depends on how big your cardstock is and I've just given it a bit of a border. So that's quite easy. You will also need a scrap of this paper because that's what we're going to need to um, colour in her dress. Um, and if we just go, I mean, all I've done really is to begin with, I've stamped the image of the easel on a piece of cardstock. That could be as big as you want. It's up to you how big you want to give it. So I, mine is just going to be matted like that on a piece of um, Pacific Point cardstock. So the, the sizes will be up to you. Now for the middle bit of the easel, I've used one of our um, stitched framelits in the two by two inch size, which fits perfectly in there. Now I know that there are a few issues with getting the stitched framelits at the moment because they're so popular, but you can just use normal square framelits if you don't have the stitched ones. So that's the two by two, and then the one and a half by one and a half is what's going to cut out our girl. So first of all, let me just put that over there for a minute. We're going to stamp her onto a piece of just plain white cardstock. Uh, it can be any little scrap piece of white cardstock you've got. I've done her in the basic black. There we go. Now we're also going to stamp her onto the piece of our designer series paper onto the side that you want her dress to be the colour of. So I'm going to use the polka dots. I'll just put that to one side for a moment to get that out of the way. And then with our paper snips, we are literally just going to cut out her dress. Um, I've made a start on this one here, so I don't think you want to see me, watch me cut out a whole um, dress bit. Um, and the paper snips are easy, so it's really, it is, it's just cutting out. The only thing I would say, just as a word of warning, is when you come to the top left of her sleeve, don't forget to cut it out, which is what I did the first time I tried this. I just merely cut away and forgot to put her sleeve. It was okay because I could go back and cut and, and redo it, and you can't really see, but, you know, we, we'd like things to be right, wouldn't we? So... Um, there we go, that's just going to pop out like that. I mean, you take more time, obviously, when you're not on a video doing it like I'm doing it. Um, and then that would just... I've used Tombow glue, because I think that's the best glue for this. And it will just glue onto her like that. See? And then when you're using the little framelits, you really don't get an awful lot of it. You know, it's just a tiny bit. And here I've coloured in her hat with one of our watercolour pencils. But you can also cut out her hat and pop that on as well. Just don't forget about her face. She doesn't want to have a, a blue face or whatever colour you're doing. And um, then we're just going to put all those bits together. Just a little bit of snail on there. I'm going to pop this up on a dimensional for the easel. Let's just put these on first. Because we want it to look as though she's the painting and she deserves to be shown to her best so that's going to go on there up towards the top of it now unfortunately we don't actually have any Pacific um, point um, ribbons 
Um, so you could just use a, a, a one of the plain white ones, but um, because on this one I did do the melon and, and, and the lovely pink ribbon at the top, if you can see that just there, which just finishes it off. But um, we're going to use just a few pearls on this, I think, just to sparkle her up a little bit. Ooh, that's not quite straight. There we go. And then for the sentiment, I've used, oh, I'm going to use the happy birthday, happy birthday, gorgeous. Um, and again, I've just pop, going to pop it onto a, um, a stitched framelit here on the, in the oval. I'm going to use the Pacific Point ink. But as I say, if you don't have stitched ones, you can just do the normal. Um, and if you don't have framelits, you can always just do it as a tab. Or just a square piece of cardstock. Tag the ends. And I'm going to pop this on dimensionals as well. Let me just make sure that's dry. Did stamp it already look on the other side and I wasn't happy where the stamp went. So that's the beauty of having it double sided, isn't it? You can cover your mistakes, as they say. I don't think I've put that on quite straight. There you go. I'm going to pop that on there. And I'm going to just get out a few of our little pearls. And just pop a little pearl at the bottom of... I should have used my paper piercing tool for this, my pokey tool. But I've just left that behind me and I don't want to go charging off. But it does make life a lot easier. You can see all my fingers got very inky with this today. But that's all right, I've got an easy day apart from cooking. There. And there she is in all her glory. And here's the one we did earlier with the, with the pinks and the blues. And this one was a colour challenge. And it turns out it was an orange and pear pizzazz. Not a colour I would normally choose. But um, there, I hope you like my lady. And you come pop along and see some more things on my blog. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Everybody who subscribes, one winner at the end of the month, we're going to a draw and I will send you out one of the pro all the projects that I've done for that, for that month. So good luck and thank you for joining me. Bye bye.